Well, that's as good as empty as you're going to find in the empty scale. Mishi, the koala, was in the flipping way. We didn't see it. Wow, okay. Well, we made it and we are beyond empty. Welcome back to another video, guys. Australia, episode four. We've got a full tank of petrol to fill up with. I apologize for this noise. It annoys me too. This could be a very expensive fill up. I have no idea how much it's gonna cost. I can't even see like the uh, price thing right now because we stood so far behind it. Could have probably pulled up a bit closer. You know, the bloody petrol around here, mate. Regal and 91 unleaded. Talking about dingoes, mate. Hi, mate. Alright, guys, welcome to Airlie Beach. This is our camper van. We are making Lawrence's bed for the first time. Lawrence is going to be sleeping in here. It's a double bed gonna have a lot of space it's gonna be a little bit warm and then I am gonna be up on the roof and we're gonna make that as soon as this is all done linen all comes it's underneath here there's normally like a little gap in the middle there's a table and chairs that we've been given that are currently behind us we've not got much space to put those up but I'm sure we'll find somewhere and yeah this place is pretty awesome we are gonna make the beds go and see what is around all right now tidy up your bed go <laughs> God, who needs a gym when you've got a tent to make? I mean, I remember when I used to make like tents for my own garden when I was younger. This look maybe cool. Maybe it's a bit shaky, yeah? Master? Yeah. There's been, a, there's been the zips have been undone the entire time. I need to go and see if there's any arachnids in there. They're going to be sharing their um, the camping experience with me. Or well, the <laughs> yeah. other way around is probably a better fit. Yeah. Can you come? No. Master, I need you to film it in case I die. <laughs> this could be the final video I make. So, light please. It was the night before death and the huntsman spider was lurking. In. Like the video if you think that David Attenborough impression was okay. Only the last bit. I wasn't trying before. Oh, it looks lit up there. Let me get the ladder. Well, Dad, if you're watching, I always knew there was a job for me in a ladder. But I didn't quite think it would be this. Where does it clip onto you, then? Wow, I'm I'm literally stupid. It's the other way round. <laughs> Master smelker. Now, now you go. Just go go in. No, that. no, I'm go on. too nervous. Right then. So then, ladies and gentlemen, this is my bed for the next uh, 20 nights, maybe longer. However, yeah. Alright. It's all clear. It's crazy in there. There's a few little um snakes, but other than that, we're talking oh shit. Oh god. What is wrong with this ladder? My. Oh. Boy. I 
honestly, look at, can you see the sweat on my face? Yeah. And it is so hot in there. <laughs> okay, let's go, like, what's fine? Okay, well, so. Hi, Masters. Hello. Three, two, one. Come on. Get involved. No? Fine. You don't like me. I've got to drive, bastard. No, you don't. I do. You don't. <laughs> Master, give us your best answer. I would like to go there at the back of the house where a high school teacher taught us when making out. You meet perfect strangers, but really not at the same time. Nothing can come between us. You and me, we're staying alive, alive forever. Meet the vampire, fuck up your evening. I pop up and eat lunch, leave you in the cement. absolutely nowhere the sun is setting behind the mountain right over there and there's just these fields with all these glistening leaves and trees and this is ridiculous this is exactly what I dreamed of when I thought of coming here like open space greenery beautiful sunsets gorgeous temperature and a camper van and Mishi we've got a koala we've got everything this is literally the dream all right, and guys, good morning. Welcome to Yandaran, maybe the smallest town I've been to in Australia so far. We have parked up last night outside the accommodation that isn't open. There's not really anyone here. Ironically, there's a van that's just rocked up behind me, and there's a store that's just opened. However, it's 7:30 in the morning. We're at Yandaran, we're heading to a place called Bundaberg. Uh, we've taken a few days off of filming in Early Beach to catch up with a load of edits. We were gonna go to the Whit Sundays, but the weather's been pretty poor, so we didn't actually manage to go there, because obviously you wanna go to the Whit Sundays when it's a blue, beautiful day, and then you can enjoy the beach for what it is. But we're gonna head towards Fraser Island in the next few days, but I think we're gonna explore a bit of Bundaberg today and what it has to offer there before we get to Brisbane. It's another beautiful day in Australia. Cheers, Master. Oh, no. Cheers. How are you this morning? Tired. Tired? Yeah. You look, you look better today. Yeah, well, yeah. that's because I'm not hungover for once. That's true. <laughs> um, slept in the camper van last night. Yeah, we did. And nice and cosy. Very cosy. Cuddling up to you. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit of a stressful morning as well, but. Yeah, we were here though. Pushed through it. Now, Gino. Very good, thank you. Needed this. Connor did sleep quite well because we fell asleep early. But it's, it never feels the same when you sleep in a camper van compared to a bed. <coughs> you always feel like you've got like four hours missing somehow.
Platypus Bay. It's where all the platypus live. Right then, so, welcome to Port Curtis Coral, Port Curtis Coral Coast. We're gonna go and try and see some turtles today. Apparently the mothers come here in around November. They hatch their eggs in around January, then they leave, and then between January and March, the babies hatch, and you see them crawling into the sea for the first time. And this beach that we're about to go to now, this is like a little conservation walk. Apparently this is where the most are in the whole of Australia. So if we don't see any, I'll be very surprised. Purposes, but um, no baby turtles, unfortunately. Oh well. Go. We only do serious. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Maybe you can catch another one for us today. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you later. Yes, guys, we have parked up the juicy camper van. $15 a night, so $7.50 each. We're talking like £4.30 or something like that to camp right on the beach here in Hervey Bay. We're bang in the centre. We've got like an Irish pub that way. We've got food and restaurants that way. And the beach is literally the other camper van side. It's incredible. What a spot. And the sun is out. It's beautiful. It's a very different heat, actually, uh, to what we were used to up in the rainforest with the waterfalls and stuff in Cairns. It's very tropical up there very humid and here it's a lot more dry as we start to hit the Sunshine Coast. We're very close to Brisbane as well. This has been awesome. We've made up a lot of ground over the last few days. We're going to camp here tonight. We're going to hopefully go to Fraser Island if the weather stays good at some stage during the next few days. But we're right next to the kitchen. This is sick man. This is so good. What a great spot. Enzo's, probably the best meal I've had so far in Australia. We had the Jamaican jerk salad. And now I've just got myself a long black. Coffee is great as well. Highly recommend this. On the beach, right next to our campsite, funnily enough. What a spot, check this out. your book literally as i turned around i shut this book for the last time no way yep i bought it in december in newbury and it sat on my desk for about a week 
packed it, took it to Vietnam, then to Thailand, then to Bali for a day, now Australia, and the sun, just as I shut it, you turned up, and the sun is just literally about to go behind a tree. And I've been sat here all afternoon getting sunburned. And now, I don't even know what to do. This, this is actually the best book I've ever read. This, this is not like a sales pitch, by the way. Honestly, if you are <clears throat> young, a little bit confused as to what you want to do with your life, or maybe you know what you want to do with your life, but you don't know how you're going to take it up a level, please buy this book and read it. I've read it in like two months. I could probably reread it again and take like a year to just go through like every single thing that I've highlighted or taken a picture of. So it talks about on Instagram, it's 15 quid, but I think the lessons you learn from it are completely invaluable. Anyway, what have you been doing, Lawrence? Editing. Editing? Yep. Becoming a master of filmmaking. I am indeed. And here we are on a beach, Hervey Beach, filming another video which will be edited and uploaded to the internet. But is it just a part of a bigger story? Who knows? It is. But hopefully, every video we post, you can take something out of it, be it entertainment, enjoyment, just on the face value of it, or I think I want to start going into more things about the things I'm reading in these books. I know that obviously my content over the years is like transformed dramatically from being like me talking like a bit of an idiot on Call of Duty, making funny voices and stuff, to playing FIFA, going on internet chat rooms, spending my life in my bedroom locked away, talking to people I'm never going to meet, some of them idiots, some of them naked, some of them weird, wonderful. And now I'm here traveling the world, trying to showcase it in video form, reading these books that are kind of like taking my mind to the next level so that I can take these videos to the next level, because that's what it all comes down to. If you can nurture your mind to learn more every single day, the output that you're going to be able to bring when you're actually doing what your purpose is and for me that's making these videos is only going to skyrocket and I feel like there's not enough hours in my day to do everything I need to do so what I'm trying to do in order to make life better is simplifying the tasks that you think are confusing and for me that was always like how do I fit in going out partying with editing with filming, with doing something every day that excites me. Trying to fit all four of those things in together as well as like spending time with friends, meeting new people, learning new social skills, all of that together is tough. But I feel like the simplicity comes from figuring out what you really love doing, doing more of it with people that you like. Ironically, Lawrence is behind the camera and we've spent like the last six weeks together and we've had the best time ever. But yeah, I want to get more deeper into like my mind and how it can help you. Because I feel like as a 23 year old, not only can I relate to what a lot of you are going through in your lives right now, because I've probably gone through it myself or I'm going through it right now. But at the same time, I feel like I'm learning so much that I can give you and also not only tailor it to myself so that I'm learning in the process, but also maybe instill some like small little golden nuggets in you so that you can take from these videos more than just basic entertainment of us exploring these incredible places. Does that make sense, Lawrence? Kind of. Kind of? Yeah. I think the only way I can really go into it more is to really delve into what I'm thinking, from what I'm reading, from what I'm experiencing every day, and maybe just taking like a few minutes in every other video to talk about something. So if there's anything that you want to know about Right now, this lifestyle that we're living, how we're managing to live on the road in Australia, please ask the questions in the comments below. I will try to get to them as soon as I can. The sun is about to set, so I'm gonna stop talking. And uh, yeah, buy this bloody book. I'm, I might even set up an affiliate code so I can at least like try and make some money out of it too. But it's so flipping good, honestly. It's the best book I've ever read. I'll leave a link in the description. Anyway, Lawrence, we should try and do some filming for the sunset or something like this is mental. Yeah, this is perfect lighting. Good. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes. Cinematic montage. Ah. ah. <laughs>
football. That was bloody fantastic. 